Hi, and welcome to the WV Mason Coaches Report with Hofstra Women's Basketball Coach Krista Kilburn Stavesky. Coach, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks, Dylan. Season just four days away. Open up Sunday at 2 p.m. here at the David S. Max Sports and Exhibition Complex versus UMBC. And then again, hosting Stony Brook on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. So, Coach, you know how excited are you for the season to start? Ready, ready, ready for the tip. Um, good, good exhibition, good scrimmages, but it, you know now it's time to you know really get out there and start you know measuring ourselves. So you mentioned the exhibition game against Fordham last week, uh, 50, uh, 55 46 win in a game that helped raise uh, funds for hurricane relief. Just talk about what you took out of that performance at, at Fordham. Well, a chance to play, you know, that's one thing great about Stephanie Gately. Like she won't back down on any kind of challenge. That we were trying to search around quick. Uh, especially when the men had that opportunity, Joe had spoken to me and we just all thought it was just a win-win, you know, a chance to play a Division One team in an exhibition. So we were scurrying around trying to find a team and luckily uh, Tony over at Seton Hall mentioned to Fordham when they called, hey, Hofstra's looking because we couldn't we couldn't get it straight with uh, Seton Hall. So just, just kudos to her to really want to make this thing happen. You know, we did it quick, like within a couple days. Um, and uh, just had an opportunity. I know she has a young team with a lot of newcomers. You know, the same kind of situation where a couple of seniors, as we do, we had three seniors. Uh, but just to get a chance to play with the lights on, with a uniform on, um, you know, our, 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 our freshmen are now sophomores. We had some new additions that gave them that chance. And then, uh, you know, really gave a chance, you know, our seniors to get out there and mesh. So just such a such a positive um, score is a score. I mean, obviously, you know, you're happy. You, you did some good things. Um, but, you know, I think we did some better things on the defensive end, didn't put up as many points. But, uh, and then to have Aliana Leone have 20 points, I always think that those kind of things are fitting. Uh, you know, she had a chance to go home and, and see her mom and her family. And, uh, you know, it's been such a struggle for her, but you never would have known it. That's how strong she is mentally and how she compartmentalizes. And, you know, it was just a great thing, win-win overall. Now, just as you wrap up the preseason practices, yeah. you know, what are, what are your thoughts on how the team has progressed from yeah. the start of practice last month to where we are today? You know, I, I, I'm I pleased. I mean, you know, obviously uh, you're undefeated until you, you know, really start the season. So, but, you know, it's it's going to just be about the uh, working together, sharing the basketball, coming together, uh, really just having a tenacity um, and just that will, you know, that will to win. So, I mean, that I'm just excited about this group of how they just uh, attack everything, how they, you know, generally practice, you know, day in and day in out, competing with each other. Um, and, and just ready for the start, you know, ready to handle, you know, like you said, the tough games and the tough situations and just really, uh, you know, ready to, to face other opponents. I think that's everybody always says that about dur during this time of year, you know, you've been playing and practicing a lot against each other and, it, and it's ready to start, you know, having games. And we really come out of the gate swinging because we have UMBC and then we have our, our rival Stony Brook. So I'm going to ask a lot of everybody, you know, really, really quick, but, you know, we need, so what the non-conference needs to do for us is get us ready. Now, what are what are your expectations? You have a three yeah. three players, senior class: Olivia Askin, Aliana Leone, and and Ajene Durant. Yeah. What are your expecting expectations from them this year as they play their final collegiate season? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you know, good things happen uh, even with Ajene. I think it was a, a great eye opening for her about uh, even in the forty game exhibition or no exhibition. Maybe she didn't have her best offensive night. She had one of her best defensive nights with about three charges. Um, but then we win the game and she scored two points. So this understanding of, of that we have help, um, that you know we are definitely a consummate team, we can share the basketball. Um, so that, that's big on Nay, because you know what Nay's gonna do, she's gonna bring it you know, day in and day out. But it's just nice, I think the pressure is different from her now. You know, she learned a lot last year and you know, had to carry a lot of weight. And now I think that just is, you know, each step is just gonna show you know, that this team um, can do this thing together. And so that's where uh, Olivia comes into play, you know, doing what she does. She's getting more versatile. And I, I like that about what she's do been doing with her game. And then, uh, you know, so obviously we know she can shoot the three, but, you know, she just plays really heady, takes care of the basketball, tries to make, you know, good decisions for us. And then Aliana Leon is just that little firecracker and uh, can just provide so many different, you know, aspects for all over the court. So, you know, you got those three, those are the three, you know, that are gonna, you know, help us in, in different scenarios, but we have a lot of depth, uh, even though we're not, um, you know, everybody, we're not fully loaded yet with Boogie and uh, Makaya Kroski until, you know, the end of December, but, you know, we have a lot of people that are gonna be able to come off the bench and help. You mentioned earlier about your, your freshmen from last year, now yeah. sophomores, gained a lot of valuable experience, 
You know, how have you seen that uh, carry over this year in their in their stepping up their games? Well, confidence is always the, the the fun thing too. Is you just see how much more comfortable they feel, how much they understand, you know, their surroundings and kind of live it in the present and and just knowing the expectations. And I think that so that's like one big thing that you know you can't uh, control as a coach, you know. And uh, I think the second thing is is how much they realize how much time they need to spend in the gym. You know, Alexis Davis is on, on a day off. She's in there shooting, whether she's asking a coach or whether she's uh, just in there on her own at any point in time. You know, day of practice, before practice, coming down early. You know, these are the players that are going to find themselves, you know, on the court and, um, you know, playing more because of all the time that they're putting in. You know, Sandra Carson is another one. Mia Hoff is a freshman that we have that uh, that kid doesn't, you know, take a minute off. I mean, she's just programmed and. Uh, so, you know, the, these kids, they, they're understanding what it takes, you know, to win, um, you know, the extra time and the extra commitment, and they've really been trying to separate themselves. So, uh, I can't say enough, you know, Marion Callen had a great so uh, freshman year, uh, so did Anna, and then, so, you know, get more out of Lex and uh, Sandra Karsten and, you know, we're MP, who I thought had a good scrimmage against St. John's, you know, we're on our way. So, you know, Lexus has been separating herself, I've been talking about that, but she's doing a great job of getting everybody involved in the team. So just a great group, and then we had uh, we had uh, Sika Kuzik from Salt Lake Community, and she's just a uh, a blessing in every aspect because she'll fill any gap that we need to fill. And uh, so it's been it's been a good it's been a good few weeks. Like I said, as soon as we get into December and we have Makai and we have Boogie, we'll be fully loaded, and that's going to be a good good position to be at. And so that's why we need to keep striving toward that. All right, one last question. Yeah. Can you give a little scouting report on on our opponent on Sunday? You yeah, see? yeah. I mean, well coached. Um, well coached, a lot of movement in their offense, you know, constantly cutting and moving. They're not one dimensional. They have balanced scoring. Uh, they have a lot of tenacity. They're going to put a lot of pressure on us and, you know, change up defense and, you know, just really push us on, on the on the defensive end there. Um, and, uh, you know, and then they got some arsenals. I mean, they've got some kids that can shoot the lights out of, uh, out of, uh, out of the ball. Uh, so uh, McGrath is one of them. And, uh, so it's good. I mean, it's good to have had some of these scrimmages, some of the similarities, some of the differences, but you know, they, they keep you on your toes. And that's what's so exciting about the first game too, because you know, you, you're gonna have to go in and play this game because anything could be changing and happening. You have very limited, you know, you know scouting just from last season. So, uh, but they're good. Again, well-coached, aggressive. They're gonna come out, put a lot of pressure on us. And uh, you're gonna probably be as excited as we all are to have this first tip up. So. Just excited, and you turn right around and got Sunny Brook. So, uh, way to get way to get rolling for this season. But proud of this group, and now let's just kind of go to work. And uh, my mantra with these guys have been, you know, it's 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 not, you know, we started off, and I feel like our non-conference schedule is much more difficult than it was last year. So the challenges that we're going to be faced with, um, and it, you know, it's starting is fine, and we need to you know play well and get better each game. But boy, we need to finish way better than we did. Uh, so that's kind of kind of our slogan there. It's not where how you start, it's how you finish. So, you know, let's let's just get ready to roll and learn a lot about ourselves and get a win on Sunday. All right, Coach. Thanks for your time. Thank you. And good luck in your season opening this weekend. You've been watching the W. Mason Coaches Report on GoHofstra.com.